worst three. The worst three, th- three things about this film. And I'm going to go ahead and start us off because honestly, I feel bad for Carrie Elwes. <laughs> Just that <laughs> I felt like he was so led on by uh, the, I forget, what's her name? Uh, Audrey. In this film, played by Maura mm-hmm. uh, Tierney, um, mm-hmm. I just, oh, I just hate it so much. I love you, thank you. I'm like, <laughs> oh man, it's so heart crushing mm-hmm. and just so sad. And he's such a nice, sweet guy, and uh, you love Max. I love Max. It fits. Oh, it's just, just hard to watch. Yeah, it's not it's, that it wasn't well written. Oh, or... yeah, yeah. It's hard to watch. It's hard to watch that. That's okay. all. It's, it's yeah. There's nothing poor in terms of technical quality about any of that it's just the well, it, it pulls that out. kind of goes into my technicality oh. and oh. here you have his ex-wife audrey mm-hmm. who's um divorced with a kid and most now i know everybody's different but most single parents that i know with a kid are very uh hesitant or reluctant to get into a relationship mm-hmm. um especially with a kid that young because of father men- attachments and stuff like that to mm-hmm. the new person. So I find it kind of hard to believe that she's semi-serious about him. Like, is she or isn't she? I mean, she's, and she's, I, I find it kind of interesting, like, especially after being with him seven months. Like, yeah, you, I feel like you, you don't introduce your, you, that's the, like when she would start to introduce yeah, it, him to his, her son. If, Anything. So it, yeah. I, I found it uh, kind of hard to believe that she's hesitant about marrying the Dread Pirate Magoo. <laughs> <laughs> Although That's very him being that way, I could see why the hesitation. But you yeah. would you be in a relationship that long? Yeah. Uh, I mean, he is cute, but. <laughs> I I don't know. Maybe maybe he just he, said, he as is you wish. He's an all around good guy. Yes. He is. Yeah. Totally. Maybe he's just too bland for her. Maybe. But then, why would you be with him? Like, anyway, so I don't know. We we I don't think we're privy to the psychology of of her or or him or anything yeah. like that. But I get where you're coming from, Paul. Uh, Josh, uh, was there any? Was it just like you had surrounding Carrie Elways at all, or something else that you just didn't? No, like? uh, I actually had to kind of stretch for some of my dislikes. Oh, okay. Uh, one is actually one that's more personal to me, mm-hmm. and that's him. Like outright admitting he just doesn't want to speak to his mom <laughs> oh 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 yeah, like, yeah. As, as a as a person whose mom recently passed that yeah that's just hard, something though. i can't connect with of and, course yeah like i said there's different people and it's hard there, to believe some of it's, these yeah. yeah and there yeah, are people that that didn't want nothing to do with their their parents um well especially when but, they yeah, insist on talking to me about dad's bowel movements size color frequency i'll call you later <laughs> but yeah i totally see right. what you're saying yeah. uh because yeah, yeah it's not like they had a it didn't seem like they had a horrible relationship like he would right. never yeah. yeah 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 but that's that's totally fair josh and i as i yeah. i as someone who's lost his mom i totally can totally can see that where you're coming from there um let's go back to paul what's something else you disliked I find it really disingenuous towards the beginning of the film where the kid is laughing at everything his dad says. I mean, oh, yeah, there that um, is that, huh? It, uh, all of a sudden, Jim starts, you know, acting like a rapper and he sings, um, with my mind on my money and my money on my mind. And the kid starts laughing. And I'm like, why, what, why are you finding, why is a six year old yeah. finding that funny? Um, or when he gets off the elevator and he says, First, 21st floor, men's underwear. men's underwear. I can get it if the kid has never met him. And it's like, oh, this guy's <laughs> funny because he makes funny voices. You know? Are you but my dad? A, or, or if he was just a few years older and would actually get the joke. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But this is someone who's been around this guy who's always making funny voices. So this should be old hat. So I don't understand, you know, why... I think they're trying to use it as an audience to say, yeah, hey, exactly. audience, this is funny. Exactly. Well, don't yeah. do that to me as an audience member, filmmakers. Right. Let me determine what's funny. Jeez. Yeah. And let it make sense. Exactly. Exactly. Um, that kind of, well, I'll let Josh go next because I, was there anything about Jim Carrey's performance that didn't really land for you, Josh? Or was something else sort of stand out as something you didn't like? Uh. 
Something else that I didn't like was uh, the language. Oh, mm-hmm. sure. It, yeah. Well, yeah. really, the English it's minor. language was just butchered in. Exactly. Oh it was horrible. No, I expect um, Shakespearean uh, type English. Come on. Well, like, while, like, especially compared by today's standards, uh, this, yeah. like, I'll say that if this movie was made today, it probably would get like a a high PG. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Which is kind of sad, but yes. Uh, or in the eighties. <laughs> Well, yes. Uh, okay, Paul. Before there's PG thirteen, <laughs> thanks for that. No, I was thinking like uh, Goonies, like right around that time. Oh, uh, okay. But oh, yeah, yeah, I just felt like to me, it, uh, it could have held up a little, even a, a bit better if they had left some of the language out, like especially oh, yeah, the use totally. of GD, which yes. is yeah. that is one that bothers me. Of course, the, yeah. more than others. Mm-hmm. You know, it, yeah. It didn't make sense why he would call the pen um, a GD um, r- blue because, or a blue pen because is the pen really damned by God? <laughs> and and if not, then how can he say that? It doesn't make sense. It, it's it's a flaw right. within the writing. The, the pen does not have a soul, therefore. Right. It, in a way, it's, though, it, it, illegal use of words. In a way, though, he's damned because he's been cursed. In a way, isn't that the same but type of thing? But the pen mm. is not, and he was calling the pen that, and he's All supposed right. to be speaking the truth. So he, oh, good point. Oh, yeah. oh, loop or uh, a plot hole. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> technicality. Error. Exactly. Technicality. Alert. Exactly. Uh, something that I didn't like. Going back to uh, Jim Carrey's performance as Fletcher, he was. A lot less likable than I remember mm. him being. I remember liking him yeah. more, that he was a more likable character. Uh, I found it sense. odd how his ex-wife liked, was like willing to put up and smile and laugh at him so much at the beginning. Yeah. Like here's well, someone we like have to know you're... he's funny though, Paul. Don't you know that? That's true. <laughs> That's why I was like, are you pandering to me? But I think that, spoiler alert, she winds up back with him at, at the very end of the film. Yeah. I, th- I, th- if she had hated him or not hated him, but disliked him so much at the beginning, that would have felt more unbelievable. So mm. I think it, it, it it helps the story in that much, but yeah. Uh, what were you saying? Sorry, <laughs> I, wasn't, I was just I totally I, hijacked what you were saying. That's fine. All I had to say was that he wasn't likable. I don't know. I think a lot yeah. of it happened in the beginning, and maybe that's be just because they are trying to force da- it down our throat that he's funny. When I don't know why, because he is funny. It just give yeah. him give him the, the playground. It'll just go with it. So. But yeah. a lot of what he was doing, a lot of the j- jokes or quips in the game were just like, seemed just off. They weren't, they weren't, yeah, it's almost like they're trying to make sure he was funny and likable, but that didn't come across. But once we get. Oh, you didn't think he was funny in the beginning? Kind of like you didn't uh... think Jurassic Park was interesting in the beginning? It wasn't until mm-hmm. you got to a certain point. <laughs> He was funny a bit. I don't know when it happened. I feel like the 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 joke that started off the 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 escalation of things being funny is the whole like, wow, that's a great image. Deleted when he sees. Uh, okay, that's towards the beginning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, exactly, exactly. And then after that, it's like, okay, now we're sort of off to the races, so so to speak. Yeah, because before then he was just making funny voices like, we're gonna go wrestling with. You know, no, a man switching. must become a boy. <laughs> that <been> yeah. Too- <laughs> <laughs> well, he says Racho Man. Um, oh, oh, Racho Man. Racho, Racho Man. Mandy, <laughs> Mandy Savage. Yeah, Macho that's it. Man and, Macho Man and Rick Rude. Exactly. Yeah. So as much as I remember liking Fletcher more, and he was sort of unlikable, and the beginning wasn't really working, what's the thing that worked the least for you? In this movie, what's your tragic maker for Liar Liar? Josh, take it away. Okay, my tragic maker, and admittedly, again, this is kind of might be a stretch. Sure, sure. But it's the reason that he missed Max's birthday party to have <laughs> sex with to become the partner. Sorry. Yes, I wasn't going to say that because I because of the family sure. friendly tag, Paul. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know that was a bad word. I guess actually it's not really because he, God made sex. He yeah. asked your parents. True. He he was trying, to, but yeah, it. I felt I, like I get he had to miss the birthday party for the wish to come for, for Max to make the wish. Yeah, yeah. And I, I just Point. felt there could have been another reason. That makes mm. sense. It, it's that like because yeah, to me it doesn't make sense that 
the guy that does really love his son and you know he truly loves his son and cares for his son mm -hmm. would do that over going to make his or going to his son's party which you know would make his son truly happy it felt like it should have been the first case of where he really honestly couldn't. Well, see, here's the thing. I would agree with you if it was only about sex, but it was he was trying to get in good with the partnership. And his career at that yeah. moment was the highest priority. I think that he had that above True. his son because he thought his son was going to be there forever. So he didn't have this like mindset of like, yeah. I true. actually am running out of time. And so, then it sets up the joke. I've had better like right true. after. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm not saying it was worth it, but I understand what you were saying, Josh. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah, I think if I would have loved if they would have come up with a different way to express that, I think that would have been way yeah. better. Um, but it is what it is. And, and yeah, that makes and you a tragic maker from it. Totally fine. <laughs> what was that, Paul? And they made three hundred million from it. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they feel bad about it. <laughs> uh, for me, for me, my tragic maker was, and this is kind of silly, but this is sort of um, one of those. It just didn't make sense to me. Uh, almost like they, they hinged too much of the movie at the end on this. So he goes in uh, to the bathroom. He's trying to think of what he can do. And he starts uh, kicking his butt. Do you mind? He just, yeah. just beats himself up. Why in the world, in a courtroom, in, or in a, a uh, what's it called? A courthouse, would this guy that comes in the bathroom not go report this to, uh, to a, a uh, what was happening with this guy who is obviously mentally unstable from his perspective I, I thought to the a, same thing, a cop but or something? He could have been just a visitor and he was like on his way out. And he's like, well, this is not my problem. There's a lot of oh, things that happen. I forget. I There's, guess, there is yeah. um, That's a, a social a condition or whatever. It's what people will see horrible, tragic things or even like racism take place. Mm -hmm. But they won't say or do anything about it because yeah. it upsets the, the, the apple cart. other balance. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I forget what it's called, but if if you were to ask him individually, it's like, no, I thought that was horrible or or wrong. That shouldn't happen. Well, why didn't you say or do anything about it? And they they didn't have an answer. They were in shock or whatever. So. Okay, okay. I guess. Uh, okay, I guess that makes sense. That makes sense. So unfortunately, that happens in real life. But we're talking about movies, and you know what doesn't make sense to me? What? Thank you for asking, Francisco. <laughs> My tragic maker is the ending itself. And oh. I don't know if it's editing or i don't know if it's um just playing over the top hijinks at the end when okay he's running to the airport and then there is no way he runs out into where all the planes are and he picks one he sees that the plane that max is on is not at the gate and there's all these planes out here and he goes that's the one that's the one max oh. is on and how would he know which one of all the planes that are out there which one max is on Maybe because it's pulling out of the terminal that he was they told didn't, it was at. That would have been a great shot he, to have, but they it didn't would, have they, that. They should have shown that, but that is the yeah. best explanation I can come up with. And, and then all of a sudden, yeah. th this plane is going, and he's chasing after. I first of all, I don't know if those those um, uh, um, stairs on wheels can go on those that fast, but they were able. Yeah, to I was wondering about that. How is that going that fast, and how is he steering it? Like, how is it not going off kilter? Yeah, and. and, so? and and the plane and they're going for a while like he's, yeah he's how long is that air, that runway uh, exactly i've been on runways and and there there's a like when you're waiting to take off there's a lot of stops and starts mm -hmm. and it's not that long like you keep going and keep going you'd either if you're going to go that long you're going to take off or you're going to stop and mm -hmm. turn and it, yeah and that whole like i said that whole scene just felt um off now, I know this is a fantasy movie where, you know, wishes come true, <laughs> but even in the world that they built, that seemed like, come on, guys, what's going on here? All right. That's fair. That's fair. Um, we have in chat, uh, T512 says, Tragic Maker, a lie falls into the truth window. Fletcher lies to his secretary when he says he uh, would have got the burglar 20K. I think it's 10K. I would have gone 10. It is 10K. Um, the secretary gets super mad and he says, wait, I didn't understand the question. So I'm not sure which part of that is makes it your track maker. Just that, like, is that not really a truth or is that a lie? But well, that's fair. Because I think he obviously, he, I think he did understand the question, meaning. I don't think oh. he did. All right, it's possible. Yeah. 
And I think that because shows I thought he, he, he was character. answering literally. And yeah. She was like, she was trying to find out, is there justice in yes. that? Yes. And according to his mental capacity, justice is getting, you know, filling the, the, the check boxes on his side. And maybe that's not true. Yeah. So he's like, yeah. oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I didn't understand the question. That's how I took it. Of yeah. Course, I'm trying to. To like look look try to you know give the writers the benefit of the doubt, but I understand but, why. I, I, yeah, that's a question. But when it comes time. to runways, no more bad for the yeah, doubt. Forget no. it. <laughs> like this isn't Fast and the Furious with the longest <laughs> runways ever. Come on. Your your my ability to follow your movie is take it off. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I get see because of the plane. All right, guys. 